Um, I've heard you talk about you went into bodybuilding. Did it, did it go from, okay, I don't want to be the fat kid, but sorry, I don't want to be the fat kid, so I'm going to be the big jacked kid and that's mm. going to make me happy and that's 100%. going to be everything that I ever wanted. Exactly. exactly. And then what happened when you got there? Well, I was just a bigger, more insecure fuckwit. <laughs> yeah. I was still a fuckwit. Yeah. Yeah. I was still an insecure <laughs> fuckwit. I was a bit taller with more mass. So I did the running thing mm-hmm. and uh, I ended up, well, this is how dumb I was, honestly, or this is how insecure and unhinged I was. So probably by the time I was 15, 16, I was running every day of the year, 365 days of the year. Jeez. I was lifting weights, but also yeah. running. Mm-hmm. But I was addicted to running. Yeah. I was addicted to training because when I trained, I looked a certain way. And when I looked a certain way, I got approval. Mm-hmm. Right? And if you're insecure, you want approval. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then I started doing more weights, less running, more weights, less running as I started to, as testosterone kicks in. And then by the time I was... Um, you know, 21, 22, that was like my life revolved around being big yeah. and being, you know, I was working in gyms, but all I did was eat fucking chickens and eggs and lift heavy shit and go mm-hmm. to sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, you know, obviously training is good. Exercise is good. Uh, eating well is good. Managing your body is good. But there's also an element that or there's a line, I guess, where you go, all right, this is good, this is healthy, this is sensible. There's the line, now this is ridiculous, now I'm obsessed, yeah. this is compulsive, this is irrational. Now I'm getting my entire sense of self and self-esteem from how I look or how yeah, big I right. am. And, and you know, I woke up one day, I, I was living with a guy, um, shout out, his name's Dave, and he was a surfy, didn't give a shit about any of this, didn't understand bodybuilding or bodybuilders, <laughs> thought it was stupid. Surfers Qu- never really do, do they? They just Quite look at you and go, mate, you are a He's weirdo. like, you're a fucking <laughs> unit. Yeah, yeah. He goes, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I grew up on the Moines Peninsula and some of my mates would see me go to the gym and they're like, mate, you're a flog. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, well I, I was a flog though. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so probably still am, some people would contend. <laughs> um, so he... he um, one day, one night, it was a weekend, we were going out uh, we're heading out to, I don't know, a part, I don't know, something, function, whatever. And I was in the bathroom and just getting ready, had on a pair of jeans. I was about, you know, this fucking full house, 100 kilos, veins and shit everywhere. And um, <laughs> he walks down, he's walking, he's talking to me from the next room. And then he's saying something. Then he walks into the bathroom and I'm standing in there in a pair of jeans and no shirt and I'm shaving and this will be no good for the audio only people, but I'm shaving like this where I've got my arms and because my arms and everything are so fucking stupidly big, I can hardly shave and I've got no <laughs> flexibility. Yeah. And and he just looked at me and goes, what is wrong with you? Yeah. And I go, what? Like, because he hadn't sh- seen me with a shirt off for a long yeah. time. He goes, you know, you look fucking stupid. Yeah. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? He goes, he goes, do you trust me? I'm like, yeah, of course. He goes, look at me. I go, what? He goes, you've lost your shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he was like the fucking, the voice of reason that yeah, my insecurity right. didn't want to turn up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, "You look. Wh- how big do you want to be? Yeah. Like, how what? uncomfortable do you want yeah. to be shaving, and then, your, and then shaving what? your face? And then what? You know, then, yeah, okay, so yeah. now you're two more kilos of muscle. Now four, now why? And I didn't compete. Yeah. You know, so... That that was you know that was one of those and I remember that conversation and that was just one of those moments in time where you know so over time. It's another time, one of those checkpoints that you remember where 100%. your life took a bit of a bit of a, a different route. I feel like is that yeah, right? and, yeah. I, and I started to become more introspective and reflective and think about my internal world, not just my external. What people didn't mm-hmm. see because mm-hmm. we're so obsessed with what people think of us and what people see, and we're so obsessed with belonging to a tribe or a group. Mm-hmm. that it's really easy to uh, do a s- disservice to our own kind of value system and our mm. because I want to belong so much that I'll do whatever I need to do to belong. Yeah. I um I actually think, so I've had through this podcast, um, I've had over the last number of years, I didn't go this year, but I've had uh, media passes always to the Arnold and to the FitX yeah. and the Health and Fitness Expo and so forth. And I walk in there every single time and I go, I just walk, it makes me feel very, very uncomfortable, that, mm-hmm. that vibe. I walk in, and I look around and I see the figure models and so forth that are, you know, chocolate body, um, eating their, you know, yeah, yeah, banana yeah. or cake before they can get their veins pumping. Then I see the bodybuilders who, who can't walk through the door and who look yeah. ridiculous in my opinion. Yeah. Then I see the powerlifters who I think are nearly the fittest people there, big, yeah. but they're like over eating big and fat and whatever. I walk in and I go, every time I walk into this room, I go, 
what the fuck about this joint is health and yeah. fitness? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is the, this is the, um, the, the extreme expo. You know, this is the extremes of, of body and soul expo, basically. Um, and I think, um, yeah, I, th- I, I totally understand where you're, look, where you're at. In this I, point, I think know? there's a way to do it um, that is healthy, but uh, to your point, I think a lot of people don't. Yeah. Right? And especially when you start throwing uh, chemicals into the mix and all of mm. that stuff and steroids and whatever. 